Okay, in this video, I'm just going to run through how you can make nested lists like this in Webflow. And this is something that I thought would be quite simple. I sort of come from traditional kind of web design background where, you know, nesting lists within lists is, is not a, a too difficult a task. But um, when I kind of tried to do this in Webflow, I kind of encountered some issues and I'm going to kind of explain some of those issues and how you can get around them and make it work. So... The sort of example here is it's the kind of um, the kind of list you'd maybe want to make if um, you've got like a terms and conditions page or something like that. And, you know, you, you do um, a kind of numbered list and then inside that you might need um, a, a letter based list or maybe some bullet points or something inside. So what I'm going to do is just quickly come up to the add element section and we'll just drag a list onto the page here. So you can see it's come up quite wide, but we'll just kind of work with, with how that is. So we've got here, if we want bullets or no bullets, but we can close that and on the side here, we can kind of uh, decide what we want. So if you come under style when you're um, on the list, we've got list item and then list item style. And by default is bullets. If you don't want that, obviously you can remove them. But in this example, we're using the numbered list. So what I tried to do was to try and pull this inside of here and this is an example of one of the things you can't do so like if I put some text into here what you'll find is if you want to try and pull another list into a list so basically nesting lists you can't do that on something where you've already put some text in there that's just not possible so um, essentially you can bring it inside one of these so like number three you can see I brought it into there because that's that's blank and then when I delete that, we can try and bring the that in, but it's still not possible because this is being edited and it's just, you know, it can't go in there at all. So the first thing you need to do is you need to build the structure using empty kind of um, empty cells. So if you kind of go back and then we'll put this into number two. And then you can see now, so we could do some text, some text, and then we've got this here as well. So what I want for the inner list is to have it as these kind of letters. And while that does work, so we've got number one is some text, number three is some text, but then for number two, I also want to be able to write some text in here as well. So the issue now is that we've got this kind of um, internal bit of it, but now I can't add, <coughs> sorry, now I can't add another list item. So you can pull a list item from here and I can add one into here. So that would become like, a, um, that would essentially become D or A, B, C, D, or I could bring it into here and then that would become number four. Um, and I'll show you that again just on here just so you can see but yeah if I bring it into there we end up with A, B, C, D so what I actually need to do to do this is kind of um, it's a little bit of a hack kind of get around it so what I do is I pull another list into the second one in this instance it's B and then I would make this a numbered list um, sorry not a numbered list make this a um, a list of letters take this one and then turn the um, styling off for that and then now you can see we've got um, up here if I just take the styling off for that one as well so then we've got number two Th this will be the box next to it again this is another thing that makes it quite complicated because the actual layout now is not how it will look so if i put in some text here you can see now this actually aligns um i mean at least uh horizontally will will fix like the, the the kind of um the the other part of it oh sorry it's vertically aligned but it's sort of indented and then what we'll do is put some more text in here so some text and then you can see we kind of and any we we don't want of these we we could also we could also remove certain ones so if we if we don't want um 
any of these bits in here we could actually just delete certain ones out of there so if we don't want these so we'll just get rid of that so then we've got one two we've got that inside there we've got the text above it and then number four we could just say we don't need that either and then what we've got is this kind of big gap here for number two so what we can do is come in and we can just remove that padding and then you can see that all sits nicely together and the only thing that doesn't sit nicely together is the uh this part here and there's not actually um i mean not that i've ever been able to find there's no actual um padding or margin there so what you can do if you need to it's kind of a you end up with a 10 pixel discrepancy so you can actually put in a uh, minus 10 and then that will just pull the two together so then there you've got your list so one two abc and then some text there and like i say you can change this to what you want so this could be a bullet list or it could be um you know more numbers within that or whatever it is roman numerals it's kind of um yeah it's just open to be used in that way but it, yeah it's one of those things where i just kind of i thought it would be easy but it, it's really not <laughs> it's quite it can be quite difficult um, and the same with this if you feel like it's indented too far you can click into the um, into the list you can come in here and you can I mean you're not going to want to change it to zero because then it's not indented at all but you, you could set it to like 10 or 20 or whatever it is you know you can have it in line with that or below it it, it doesn't matter that's just a general styling thing but that's kind of how I managed to kind of get around that and make that work because it's just it's one of those things that can be quite kind of confusing. I was sort of nesting lists. I, as I say, I thought it would be easier than that, but it's just the just the way it seems to work and the way it's been put together. So hopefully you found that helpful. If you have, give the video a like. Um, if you've got any questions, obviously feel free to drop them in the comments and I can try and help. Um, if you want to see kind of more Webflow tutorials like this, check out the playlist on this channel and please subscribe.